Okay, guys, guess where I am and why. Well, I would have preferred to keep it more still. Because, um, well, it became pretty obvious after a while. Uh, okay, we are back in the Skyloft Academy because, well, there's something we can do here now. Basically, what I want to do is that, uh, what I want to do is get some of the side quests out of the way now so that they don't all, like, you know, just, like, absolutely take over right before the end of the game. Yeah, so at least this guy, instead of Beetle, is... And... Yeah. Okay, so we need a new plant species. I'll try. Something no one will have seen before. Yeah, they can. Yeah. We know this. Which means that we can't do this and the one in the pumpkin patch, which I'm also planning to do in this video at the same time. I got some of the stuff in the guidebook I don't even get. Like, it says that you need the full song of the hero before you can do the thing with the pumpkin patch. And yet, it says that... And yet it says that you can do the beetle side quest as soon as, as soon as you stop, as soon as you, um, get Scrapper, and I think you need the Song of the Hero for that one. Well, actually, at first I actually just thought you had to free Levias. So yeah, I'm gonna meet you guys back at, a. where will I meet you back at? I must want to check the beetle thing again, because what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to go up to the thundercloud now, because what I want to do is get some, get the treasure chests, because, you know, once I do get down to the desert, it's going to be a while, and I want rupees so that I can, you know, do that roller coaster game a lot, and 234 now, that's pretty good, but I'm going to want more, so... Hopefully the treasure chest, and if, they, if it's a heart piece, even better. So it's like I can't lose right now with whatever I get. Because rupees will be very helpful. And, whoa! Okay, we're flying, we're flying, and we're coming in on our destination. This island is high. It's even higher than the top of the Tower of Songs. And you can't even see the beacon because it's so far below. But sure enough, it is on this island. Now where exactly we need to land... It's going to be about right here. Oh, okay, we can't land there. We'll have to find another way in. In fact, I think I know how to get in. Yeah, um... Yeah, this is that island. I remember this because... Yeah, I remember there was an island like this, so... There's a reason that we couldn't get this Goddess Cubans until so late. And it's because we needed... We wouldn't have been able to get to it. That being said, there are other goddess cubes that we got early and could not actually get the treasure chests until late. Most notably that piece of heart in the uh, building in Skyloft with the secret underwater passage. I'm so glad that you can still break the rocks even with the uh, even when your stamina is low. Because that could have gotten annoying. And that gets us in the cage, so. That's the only way to get here. And that's pretty much all there is to this island. And that's our fifth empty bottle. So yes, because the one that we actually got at uh the one that we got at uh Fire Sanctuary was actually our fourth. I think I mentioned that. If I didn't mention it, I knew that we did only have four. Even if it wasn't until I got back. So, yeah, there's a couple things that, you know, we haven't done. The other thing that we need that really alarmed me is that we still don't, what I completely forgot about is that we still don't have the goddess shield. We only have the divine shield, and we haven't upgraded it yet. And because we didn't have some of that one item or so, or maybe I just forgot about it, but I went ahead and sold all my dusk relics because, well, I thought I wouldn't need them anymore, and, well, that's what I'm missing, four dusk relics, and, you know, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get those for a while because... The only place they appear is in the, uh, is in the Silent Realms. Now, 
there will be a way that it will be solvable. Don't worry. There's not a treasure in the game that you can't get twice. Simply because of the fact that, you know, you can sell them all and potentially screw yourself out of getting certain upgrades. So, yeah, even if not at the moment, everything in the game. I'm actually going to check this island again just for... But you don't need to see this, although I guess that... Have we even talked to this guy yet? Yeah, we can't do this yet. <laughs> well, that's stupid. But no, we're not doing it now. Okay, meet you in Faron Woods. Well, not our main reason in Faron Woods. I think we, we gotta do this now. Okay. Talk to the Goron behind the temple. And... Yeah, what well, was written in his text... Arrow in repose. Yeah, so... Yeah. I think that we just have to do what he says. I don't really remember this that well. I haven't had the best luck with goddess walls in the game, so of course this side quest wouldn't be easy either. But yeah, so we show him what he has to see. And we get something. A piece of heart. That's how you get the piece of heart. And I kind of just realized that. Um, I think before I tried to do this, and I think that before I tried to get the piece of heart by actually drawing a heart, because I thought that that goddess wall was special or something. And no, that goddess wall is nothing special. You just have to show the Goron what he wants to see. And then, you can get a piece of heart. So we only have one more piece of heart to get in the game. And I know exactly where it is. It's, well, we get it by winning the roller coaster game. So at least that means that there's nothing else. And there, there really wouldn't be anything else. Because, you know, we're going to do one last double check and make sure we have every single goddess cube in Faron Woods. And we do. Now we're going to look for this. New plant species. I hope we have to go to Faron Woods. Because I know you can't do this until you unflooded Faron. Well, this isn't good. Maybe it's. Okay, yeah. It's over there. Hmm. That seems to be pointing to Machi. Either Machi or the Elder, but I think it's Machi. I think Machi was the first one we met as well, so... Well, we can just keep this. I don't know. I've made enough cuts in this video, I think, already. I'm not like it would be that big of a deal to do it again, but... I mean, it's right there. Except I don't think it actually was Machi. What do you have to say now, anyway? I'm sure glad all those mean guys are gone. Yeah, we still haven't found her yet. Remember the first time we came here? Well, I mean, we have found her, actually. I don't know what I'm saying. I think it's, yeah, it's Ubu. Yeah. Because I remember saying, seeing the, like, in the walkthrough, Owan and Ubu. Owan and Ubu. What a ring that has to it. And I don't think I would have forgotten that. So, I believe that Owan and Ubu are in... So, I don't remember if I actually said we would be coming back to Faron unflooded. But, at least it's not all depressing because there's actually something for us to do. That has a rock wall on it. That's nice. Let's solve this mystery together, shall we? 
I could talk about something. There was a thought I actually never finished from the last episode of Skyward Sword, and I want to finish that thought. When I hit the goddess cube, I was starting to talk about sounds and, like, the sounds they make. What I'm saying is that when something makes a sound, and it really sounds like the first note of another song, I always expect it to start playing. And then note that plays when you get the goddess cube, it's like, oh, it's like a really jingly sound. It sounds like the, uh, the first note of the Wii Sports Resort theme song. Like, the Wii Sports Resort theme song and the regular Wii Sports song are pretty much the same, but they start differently. The Wii Sports theme song is da 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 and then Wii Sports Resort is like, da 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 And that first note, the, the high C, is just, um, that's it. So I'm very sure that this is the guy right here. Oh, hello again, Klee. I've been hiding out so long my shoulders are stiff. <laughs> what shoulders? Let's, let's just go sarcastic from now on. How rude I do have shoulders, Klee. They're just not very pronounced. All I was trying to say is that I'm constantly hiding from danger is a stressful way to live. Everyone seems happy that peace has returned to the forest, but I don't believe it for a second. There's no way I'm going to give up and come out of hiding. Not ever. But sometimes I wonder, isn't there somewhere peaceful? There is. So, this works out because we're, this is a win-win situation. I can verify with only 40% accuracy that this person is a plant. Oh, and I can't believe I completely missed when Fi said there's only a 60% chance that the uh, fire dragon was in the uh, volcano summit. Like, I added that in the annotation just because I can't believe I actually missed that. But anyway, back to the whole music thing. The other thing in this game is the very first theme that plays where it verifies the Wii Motion Plus. Like, it goes like, Dum. and that reminds me, for some reason, whenever I hear that, I always expect it to start playing the uh, theme to Profes Professor Juniper's Lab. Because not many songs start with the uh, note. What note is that? That's B sharp, right? Um, so... And I really like the music for Professor Juniper's Lab. It's a good song. Uh huh. But, yeah. It seems like in Pokemon games, the best songs always come from the battles, but there are a few exceptions. And, you know, in Pokemon Black and White 2, the theme song for Aspersia City is unbelievable. Like, better than any other city in a Pokemon game. Even Lavender Town. <sighs> and uh, the first time I ever heard the theme for Lavender Town was in uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, so I never really knew about it. But I agree, that definitely makes it sound more peaceful than creepy. And really takes away the whole theme of that town. But, oh well. So I will meet you back at oh one at Ulu's place. Wasn't there something else I wanted to say? There was one other thing I wanted to say, and that was that uh, basically this music thing for me, it's kind of hard for me to remember notes like the A through G system because when I was younger, I had this piano. I'm really shocked that through all my years of LPing, I've never told this story. I haven't really told it to anyone, but it's always been something to me. Um. I had this piano, and they numbered all the notes instead of lettering them, and the numbers didn't even correspond to the uh, lettering. It started with number one at, uh, at, what is that note? See, I can't even remember. That's A. No, number, what's number one A? No, number one couldn't have been A. No, number one was E. Number one was E. No. Number one was an E. Number one was... Number one was F. One was F. See, I can't even remember. But I definitely remember. And it was a V-Tech piano, and there's no need to cut anymore. The trip was actually a lot quicker than I expected it to be. Scrapper better have landed with us. Is that him? No, that's not him. That's a... Whatever the equivalent to a cargo rock in this game is. Or maybe those are loft wings. You never really see any other loft wings flying around, except when you fall off. Um, 
So I just remember notes by the numbers more than I do by the actual letter for it. Like I can barely even remember, but I'm, I definitely remember yet. Yeah, one is F, and just go by that. So. And that's just how I remember it. And maybe that's the reason why it's so hard for me to read music. I'm terrible at reading music. I was actually good at it when I was in music class, so I think it's just from lack of experience rather than being, you know, royally screwed up. This is unbelievable! You found me an entirely new plant species! Hmm, fascinating. Should this actually be classified as flora or fauna? I mean, plant or animal? Hmm, you know, this may very well mark the discovery of a new type of species altogether! Oh, how incredible! The world is still full of new plants, waiting to be discovered, isn't it? I can barely contain my excitement. Oh, Link, you have no idea what this means to me. Thank you so much. I'll take great care of this plant life form, whatever it is. So even though it probably is not a plant, we still get the reward. Now, I know we didn't get rupees from going to the treasure chest, and how many do we have? Is 70 enough for a reward? It might be. I'm going to cut, and depending on whether we get a reward or not, I will either be in Betro's room or at the pumpkin patch. In I was actually almost certain we were going to get a reward, so... Please take this as a token of this demon's deepest appreciation. Oh, yeah. In fact, very few of his rewards are actually money. Oh, we get two things? Two gold rubies! Awesome. I mean, we do have 70, so one gold ruby would be a little low. So, yeah, the last one we get the, uh... Well, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's pretty cool. Even though I don't think it'll come to much use, it's more of a flashy item. That doesn't even look like water. I guess it does. Okay. Um, so now we have 837 rupees. You know, I, mean, I want a lot for that game, but there is a way to buy dusk, dusk relics. I can just never find how to do it. This is a thing called the Moonlit Merchant, and, you know, we're not going to be doing any heavy con- well, actually, yeah. We're not going to the desert yet. We're going to Lumpy Pumpkin first, and I am going to cut it, because that's crap quality. You know, the more I think about it, the more I really think they honestly got this side quest mixed up with the Beetle one. This is the one that you only need Scrapper for, and the other one is the one that you need the full Song of the Hero for. So, the only thing left to do in this whole Lumpy Pumpkin side quest is to plow the field. So, yeah. We need to find someone who can plow, and, you know, yeah, this, he fine knows it. It better be connected to Gratitude Crystals. Yeah. So, that's why we couldn't have done this and the, uh, and the other thing at the same time. And, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, Scrapper can only hold one thing at a time. Even though Link can seemingly hold anything, so... It looks like we're looking for a pumpkin. So, you might think that we could help with our, with our, you know, mog limits, but... Well, that's, that actually is a clue to what kind of thing we're gonna need to help us out. I forget who exactly is the magma that is gonna help us out, but it's gonna be one. So now, we're gonna get... First we get a Kikui to explore the overworld. I mean, we're, we're getting everybody. First, Groose goes to the surface. Then we get a Kikui, the Skyloft, and now we're going to get a Magma to Bumpy Pumpkin. So I forget who it is. My best guess, you know, from memory, is that it's the person that first gives you the thing. It's, it's probably someone with an element. I don't even remember. I remember that there's Gold, Silva, Bruns. Was it Bruns? Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. For some reason, my first instinct is that it's somewhere in the, uh. 
Where's Volcano Ascent? This is the one that's... It's better be where I think it is. No, it's not quite, but we're close enough. So now things have calmed down quite considerably in Elden Volcano. I don't know how long at all this video has been, but I think that after we do this, it's going to be, we're going to call it an episode. So this will be this entire episode of side quests. And, you know, doing two gratitude crystals, getting a reward, getting a heart piece, it's a pretty good episode. And a goddess treasure chest. That's how we started the whole thing. I think it's in here. Is there anything else in here? Speaking of which, any more goddess treasure chests at all in Elden? Because that one was kind of throwing me off for a while, but now we can confirm that we've done everything. If that's a red ruby, right? Not an orange one. I don't even think there are orange ones in this game. Are there? I mean, they can't be, because silver ones are 100, right? I don't even know. The currency's kind of changed a lot. Oh, this is the guy. What luck. Even though I kind of had a feeling. So, he's upset, because he's digging, and nothing's happening. He's just digging to dig. Well, so he's looking for work, and I love the sky. You love the sky even though you're rooted to the ground. Well, I don't think Mogwans are actually rooted to the ground. I've seen them run away. Well, you called the daughter of the owner an employee at Lumpy Pumpkin? Well, that's not very respectful, Thigh. You know, I wonder why we haven't activated the goddess statue that's down here. I have a feeling that we haven't. Either that, or we couldn't actually... <laughs> now we look good by comparison, right? <laughs> yeah, they're not rooted to the ground. They have legs. <sighs> and the legs go through the beard. That's... When the beard goes far below the legs. Yeah. Did we not talk to this? Because there's a hole up there, and I don't know if that's just for the either the goddess cube. Yeah, we have activated. It's just that you can't go to the sky from that one. Yes, yeah, Scrapper can. Video game logic. I kind of forget some of their names. Yeah, man, that's Silva. He was the one that was in the uh, that was trapped in the fire, right? Beyond. Beyond? Uh, beyond? What do you mean beyond? Are you telling me he's gone gone? I mean, we all got to go sometime. But... Oh, wow. Well, I can tell you I didn't know about that. So you can actually make him think that the Elder died. Sure did. Well, I never knew about all this text, so... Taito. Oh, yeah, I remember Taito. He was the one that first gave us the thing. And there's more? Hmm. That's pretty good. That's 31 rupees. That's a pretty good reward. Yeah. Well, now there's not really going to be anybody more to talk to, so... I'm just going to meet you back in, uh... At Pumpkin Landing. Wait. Who's he? Hey, pal, you're still alive. By the looks of it, you got all your loot back, too. Oh, this was the guy that first gave us the mob limits. Right? Ton? Yeah, we did find a lot of treasure. Seriously, I'm so jealous. No, I don't know. I mean, there does have to be a limited amount of it, I guess. Even though... Oh, yeah, plats. Enthusiasm for food. Mm -hmm. Is it just me, or does this one thing remind me of the thing that Groot built around the... Uh, Sacred Realm. Not the Sacred Realm. Sacred Grounds. Although, I guess it is kind of that close place to the Sacred Realm. Anyways, we are way... Not out of time, but overdue for the cut. Okay, guys. This video has gone on for long enough, I know, and I should be back. But there's something that you're about to see. Something that I never knew about. Now, this was not always like this. This looked like any other one, but I was just kind of going back and 
running around. This is in the place where the path to get that heart piece. And this is here. Although now that I think about it, was this just used for the, uh, you know, getting the items back? No, there's rupees here. Well, you don't need to see me do all this on screen, but here's something that I never knew about, and it looks like there's a good amount of rupees there, so keep that in mind if you need some. And we're back, and I promise the video will be over. I mean, I don't know if you guys really care. Who knows? Or if there even any are of you guys. Who knows? <laughs> okay. And that is going to be the last time in the get. Is it? I don't know. I don't. I forget it's the whole Beatles side quest. Okay, so let's watch this mole. Isn't that what you wanted? Now that I think about it, this would be really tedious if they made you do this all, so. And you know, this guy's been a magma all his life. So now they get a new slave, or employee. Apparently you're just an employee, so that would make him a slave, probably. Okay, so we're now done with the lumpy pumpkin, and unfortunately we're not done with the... Yeah, see that thing right there? I'm pretty sure now that that is the last time we're going to see Scrapper, but never mind. I don't really want to spoil it too much. Um, well, this isn't exactly helpful. I'm just looking for stealth. Okay, that's it. Next video, we go to the desert. But I'm actually not going to cut because there's something I want to talk about. What is it? You guys are going to have to find out.